11 Alive News at 6 starts now. And good evening, everyone. I'm Paul Osmond. Thanks for joining us this evening. Motorists are still having trouble tonight at the same area where brush fires shut down I-20 near the DeKalb Rockdale County line earlier this week. This was the scene from Thursday. And firefighters in Cartersville are also dealing with brush fires. Smoke filled the sky near Highway 41 and Highway 293. There are no reports of injuries. It was slow going in downtown Atlanta this afternoon for a different reason. Here's a look at conditions this afternoon on the downtown connector. Nearly 100,000 people are expected downtown this weekend for the Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Circus, plus a cheerleading and dance competition and Big Bronner Brothers International Hair Show. But road work along 75 southbound in Cobb County isn't helping matters any. If you're planning a trip downtown today or tomorrow, you know the drill. Take Marta. Thousands of people turned to Toomer's Corner today. This is where the historic Auburn University oak trees were poisoned. The rally was called Toomer's Tree Hug. Alabama fan Harvey Updike Jr. has been charged with first degree criminal mischief for allegedly using a herbicide to kill those two ancient trees. History Lost and Found is the focus of a cleanup project in Cobb County this weekend. It's taking place behind the secure fences of Dobbins Air Reserve Base. 11 Live's Jennifer Leslie has the story of a new look for an old cemetery for freed slaves. And most of us didn't even know there was a cemetery on this. Uh... The cemetery cleanup project will continue tomorrow. Another workday scheduled for next month. It's an all-volunteer effort with no government funds used for the work. As many as 2,000 job seekers were out in full force today at the Gwinnett Place Mall. They were hoping to get a big break in the world of acting. Four TV shows, two motion pictures were looking for extras this afternoon. They were looking for all types, men and women over the ages of 18, dressed to the nines. Prospects were, we spoke with like their chances. Well, yeah, you, all, you always want to shoot for, um, you know, either a featured extra or a principal role. So definitely I'm looking to um, get in the project any way I can to have a really great role. Well, casting director Bill Marinelli says with Georgia's unemployment rate at 10.2 percent, uh, extra work is a great way to make a few hundred dollars a month. Some students are going to be getting around a little easier today. They were awarded a new bicycle from the folks at Dreamweavers of Georgia. The giveaway took place at an Alpharetta First United Methodist Church this afternoon. Needless to say, it was a big hit. It's because it's um, the color that is my favorite and because of the decorations on the um, seat. Hi. That's pretty cute. The children also received a free bike. They also were treated to a free lunch. Well, day five of demonstrators outside Wisconsin Capitol, thousands of protesters are upset about a budget bill that would strip state union workers of some of their rights. And prices at the pump take another big jump, and experts say it's not even close to being over. Stay with us.